All right, so we're checking out the Eachine Zero. This is another uh, microplane in the Eachine series. Uh, several of them have been made in the last three years or so. Um, if you want to see the previous videos, I'll put a playlist in the uh, video description to my uh, microplane playlist. It includes things like the P-51, the Corsair, Spitfire, etc. They all use the same radio and protocol, the V761 protocol. And uh, as you can see, I'm going to be flying this with the jumper chelate as usual. I have a whole video on how to set this up on your multi-protocol radio. If you want to fly it with one of those, I'll link that video in the video description as well. I no longer fly these Eishin microplanes with the stock transmitter because um, it basically doesn't fly that great. And there's, a, there's some tricks you can do with an aerobatics button, etc. on the transmitter. Uh, if you want to see how those work, check out the previous videos. Uh, you can see some demos of that in those older videos. Anyway, let's take this up in the air and see how it flies. All right, so you can see the gyro doing its thing as usual. Four channel operation as typical on all these e Sheen Warbirds. And there's no wind today, so should be a good day to fly this if you know if you're wondering what are good days to fly these little microplanes uh, non-windy day is the best let's see how it does here throttle up and basically hands free take off there and these things basically just kind of fly themselves in the beginner mode but as you'll, as you'll, as I've noted in previous uh, videos, uh, these these don't fly great in expert mode. So I don't I don't fly them in expert mode anymore. It's just because the the, the small electronics, the gyro on here, just does a better job than any human can, in making those little micro adjustments very quickly. Yeah, there's definitely some pilots out there that do fly this in expert mode, but it's very wonky. It doesn't look very good. And not very relaxing in my opinion. And uh, yeah, as you can see, even though there's no wind, you can see the little micro, little uh, adjustments it's making to keep that nice and stable. Okay, now there's a little bit of wind picking up. Not much, five, 10 miles an hour, but oh, it's going, it's, that's downwind there. And these things, in a, in, a, in a strong breeze, they will take off downwind. But now there's a wind coming from behind me. You can see I'm almost hovering here. Look how slow it's approaching. And that stabilizer works really well. And now the wind's starting to pick up. Wasn't there at the beginning of the video, but now it's coming. You see it going downwind really fast. Make sure you're using your rudder to make those turns. There's a lot of rudder, aileron. Mixture channels. Yeah, that wind's picking up now. You can see it's going upwind. It's very slow, but then downwind, super fast. It just floats on by, uh, coming uh, upwind. It's a pretty, so it's a pretty steady, uh, about 10 miles an hour now. You gotta put full rudder into this. Into those turns. We got another pass by here. How slow it's going there. So yeah, this is uh, flying a very typical. If you look at if you look back on the old videos, all the other planes kind of fly like this. I don't think they've made that many improvements in the flight controller. They might have adjusted the programming here and there, but for the most part, they all fly pretty much the same. Uh, I, I do think that they have improved the programming a little bit on the more recent models, but this it's the same flight controller has been in, in all these planes for the last three years. Uh, this is a very, very popular series, these, these little planes, they're very, very popular. Because they're very easy to fly, and they look pretty good in the air, and you can fly them pretty much at any park. You just kind of need a little bit of wider space, like here, this large soccer field will suffice.
And uh, as long as you're not flying in an expert mode, uh, flight characteristics are really good. The, the problem with these little microplanes in uh, expert mode is that they have a tendency to stall out um, fairly easily because the elevator control isn't, uh, well, you need to be very precise and quick on your elevator control, which the gyro does way faster than you can. And you're not able to, it's harder to do in expert mode. You can do it, it's not impossible, but it just doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't look as good in the air. You know, I'm an experienced pilot. I've been flying planes for 10 years, and you know, it just, it's not enjoyable. It just looks like it's just an expert mode. It just looks like it's very wonky, and just it looks like it's struggling. It doesn't look very pleasant in the air. It doesn't look very good in the air, and uh, and it's not fun. It's stressful. Just basically, you're struggling to not have it crash, whereas in beginner mode, it, it's almost unless you do something really. So, you know, kind of unexpected, it's not really going to crash, you know, you know, for example, these kind of, you know, a little bit of wind here, you know, when you're flying downwind, you're going to make sure you have a lot of throttle, speed, and uh, a lot of aileron and, and uh, rudder to make those turns so you can, you can turn quickly back upwind. You'll learn how to fly this. Uh, very well, very quickly. Look how, look how slow that's going. Very nice. Today's a good day. The wind isn't like swirling around or changing direction, which also makes this very hard to fly. It's coming in one kind of direction. You can get about a seven to eight minute flight time on these batteries, 400 milliamp hour 1S charges included. Uh, the bi-blade propeller is the default one that's installed, but you can put the tri-blade propeller on here if you want. And it is um, the standard breakaway propeller that they've introduced a couple years ago on all the models. So if you crash, the prop will just uh, pop off and you just pop it back on. Very easy to do. Uh, very unlikely that unless you have a very hard nose in, it's not going to uh, break the plane. I've, had, I've crashed these a lot. Um, and uh, as long as you know, as long as it's not a, like a really severe nose-in crash, the prop will just pop off, and you pop it back on, and you're on your way. Yeah, easy, very easy to control, and uh, you can fly it super close to me. Let's see here. Let's do some uh, circles around here. Do some circles around me. The wind's died down a little bit, so it makes it a little bit easier to do. have it come down this way and then I'll turn it a little bit closer I got some super airspeed going downwind there and the gears in this one don't sound really rough so they, and they've, they've improved that it's very quiet some of the other models uh, I think it was the BF 109 was Gears were a little bit noisy, but that might also vary from model to model. Um, you know, there's obviously variation in uh, manufacturing, so there's not every single one's going to be exactly the same, but you know, overall, not too bad. Yeah, it's really easy to fly. I do enjoy flying these little microplanes here at this park on a day like today. Very relaxing. And if you want to learn how to fly these, this is a good, this is a good one to learn on too. Um, you know, because it's, it's got the self-leveling feature, stabilizes, and uh, you know, even if you crash it, the prop will just pop off and you just pop, put it back on and take off again. Good flight time. Yeah, this, this one flies really nice. You can obviously uh, get a few different models and maybe fly with your friends. It'll be kind of kind of cool. It'd be interesting if they could uh, make a video FPV version of these. That would be kind of fun. I'm not sure how how it'll handle the weight and everything. 
analog video maybe, okay. I think they fly very low to the ground, no problem. Although, uh, the, with that green color there, just, just get a little lost in the grass. Now you can just see the, the, the wings. They're, uh, making those little, uh, micro adjustments. Very nice. Anyway, gotta get uh, back to work. Just here on my lunch break, so. I think the uh, ba yeah, battery's starting to peter out a little bit, but yeah, you can get a good solid seven, eight minutes of flight time, no problem on these. Give come uh, bring it in for a landing here. Let's see. There's a little patch of grass over here. I might try. It's gonna it's gonna nose over, uh, no matter how hard I try. I, uh, <laughs> it's really hard. If you don't know, if you're on concrete, maybe. Oh yeah, the, the battery is starting to peter out. All right, bringing in for a landing, nice and slow. Uh, ooh, it didn't, that was over. All right, there you go. Anyway, uh, links to everything I mentioned down in the video description. Check it out, guys. Talk to you guys in the next video.